if anyone wants to see how I went from this to this for just over 150 pounds, stay tuned. Come to your local warehouse and see what pallets they've got. I needed to decide how big I wanted the overall size, how big I wanted the benches and how far away from the fire we wanted to be. I then laid down all the pallets and cut the pallets to size. I put these blocks around the edges of the pallet to give the screws something to hold on to. I then laid planks across the top of the pallets to hold everything together and ensuring that the end of the planks didn't end on a hole. You can see when you countersink it like that, it doesn't crack. And when you don't countersink it, you can see the crack. After the base was done, I then had to figure out how I was going to do the roof. And as I wasn't great at maths, there was a lot of trial and error. So once I put the floor down, I then had to work on getting these angles. And they were super difficult those angles and then to cut those ones down there. I put two in the corner and one in the center. Cut these corner posts 36 degrees. Then I put the center piece in and then started to put the pallets on. The posts are screwed into the deck and this piece is just to support and it'll be removed later. What I did with these pallets, I cut a notch out of one end, a notch, notch out of the other end, and then just simply laid them in like a shiplap. With this window, found a piece of glass, and then I put a groove in all four pieces like that there and then push that in there to one side and then screw it to the post well got my old drum sorted to turn the drum into a fire pit I made a large fire, quickly swept it away, banged it out with a large hammer and then repeated that step a few times. For the entrance I made a square, attached that to the roof and then two pieces of wood running on the top to make a roof. My idea with the roof was to build it and then take it apart section by section but due to the bows in the wood, because it's pallet wood, I couldn't really do that, so I had to call some friends around and we lifted it into place. This is how the roof was then finished, with these little notches cut in, so it was all sat flush. What I kind of didn't realise is the water was actually coming in, and then somehow it was going back and then leaking underneath. So what I did in the end is I replaced the roof and I kept the notch but I just moved the pallet just down a bit just so the water then just hit there and ran off completely. So I did put some silicon in the corner pieces just to stop the rain from coming in. For the seating area, I had legs front and back and then put some pallet wood along the top and then just made a handrail for the corner posts. I also used some wood filler to fill in the nail holes, which I never really thought about, and also the knots, which also seem to leak water. So I used this filler to try and stop that from leaking. This barbecue grill was an added extra, although the father-in-law paid for it, so I guess I didn't.
after I put the roof on, it was a little bit wobbly. So I added these supports on each upright and that really steadied it up. Thanks for watching. If you're going to build one, I hope it's a success. Let me know in the comments below and do subscribe. I've got a lot more pallet ideas coming up soon.